In this lesson, I want to show you a brand new feature in Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud that to me is a real game changer, linked smart objects, as opposed to embedding. Now, here's your first test. Go up to the word file on the pull down menu. You need to see place embedded and place linked. If you don't see those two options, if you just see place, then go to the cloud and download the latest version of Photoshop. I'm going to move out of here. What I want to talk about first, because we've never been able to do this in Photoshop before, is the difference between an embedded smart object and a linked smart object. So, tell you what, let me give you a little primer on that right now, and let's go ahead and move into my little presentation. You've got two images open, the examples on the right, and you have Photoshop open, the logo on the left. You want to embed one of these flowers, and you want to link the other. Now, if you know something about programs like Adobe Illustrator and Adobe InDesign, I love both those programs, then you already have probably an idea of what linking does. But let's talk about this. Now, we know how to do it. You go to the word file. So the one on the top, we embed, and the one on the bottom, we link. You go into Photoshop. Now you see two additional layers. Each one has one of the flowers in it. And you say, well, okay, what's the difference? Well, there is a big difference. When you embed something, you're making a copy. The original is no longer in any way involved with the one that's in Photoshop. When you link, I love this, it creates a link to the original. Now, what does that mean? That means that the one in Photoshop is influenced by the link smart object. So if we go back to the embedded one, the original, and we change it, change flowers to red, it's not going to do anything to the one in Photoshop because the one in Photoshop is a copy. But if we change the link smart object original, every other Photoshop document that contains that image will change. So this is a tremendous advantage when you're working with one object that you're trying to put into multiple Photoshop documents. Now let's look at how we can make this practical. I have Photoshop open, and I have a document open called mockup1.psd. You've got that in your exercise folder. Now, what I want to do is put that logo in there. Here's my example for you, and I think it's a pretty good one, but it's not related just to web design, okay? I'm mocking up a website in Adobe Photoshop, and that is totally not unusual. One of the things that would be the same on all the pages, besides maybe things like the buttons, would be the logo. So we want to link, not embed the logo, on multiple pages. Now, a website mockup could be 20 pages, it could be 100 pages, it could be two, whatever. So I'm going to go up to the word file on the pull down menu, place link. Now let me mention something here before I do this. If you have access to the actual file, say it's on your desktop somewhere, you can drag it into Photoshop. If you hold the alt key down while you drag it, it will become a link smart object. If it's in a folder hidden somewhere, this is probably the best way to go. Place linked. Okay, logo PSD right there. Click place. Let's come over here and drag it into position. You can use your arrow keys to nudge it. If you like it, you resize it, whatever, double click. I want you to notice something over here. It did come in in a separate layer, but that's a given. There is a small icon in the lower right-hand corner of that logo that looks like a chain. Now let's theorize here that you've done this on every single one of your mock-up pages. Could be 20, however many, doesn't matter. There's more than one. Editing comes in and goes, Andy, we've looked at your happy site. And I said, yeah, it's a happy site. I said, not that balloon on the left. That's scaring the kids. You got to get rid of that. He said, oh, come on, man. I put this on 100 pages. It's okay. I said, nope, we got to get rid of it. Now, remember, we linked it. Now, we need to change the image, but there are two ways we can kind of do this. One is if the document that has the linked item in it is open, and there it is. And the other one is if you have it in other documents and it's not open. And I already have one of those. I have a second web page that's not open. So let's go this way first. I got to change that, don't I? Well, I have to get back to the original. This is as easy as pie. Over here, the little chain icon right there says it's linked. Double click right in here. It will find it. It will open it. Now, I've already kind of taken care of this. I do have down here layers. Now, here's the offending balloon. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to come up here and turn this one on to make a happier balloon. Save it. 
File Save. Click here to close it. There you go. It changed it. But what about the one that wasn't open? So I'm going to go up to the word File on the pull-down menu and go into Open Recent, because I've got it in here. It's called Mockup 2. That one didn't change. Why? Because it wasn't open. That's the only thing. If the document is open and you go back to the original link and you change it, basically what happens is it will change it if the document is open. But I'm not going to open up 50 or 60 Photoshop documents at the same time. How do I change it now? It's actually very easy. Notice here also, you will see a warning right in the corner of the logo, meaning that this document has been changed. Now we can get to it two ways. We can right click over here or you can go up to the word layer on the pull down menu, go down to smart objects and basically select either modify one or all if you have more than one. There you go. Linked smart objects, as I mentioned, is to me a game changer in how we work in Photoshop and puts Photoshop in par with programs like Illustrator and InDesign. It gives us the ability to take one single document. Now, it could be Photoshop. It could be Illustrator. It doesn't have to be Photoshop. And bring it into Photoshop and change the original and then change all the other documents that it is linked to. That's pretty cool. Linked Smart Objects.